So you're fed up of your Fire Stick, Fire TV, and you finally made the jump over to the Android TV, Google TV platform. I'm currently using my on 4K Pro for this demonstration. Now, probably the first thing you realize very quickly that yes, Android TV is a lot more flexible. It does allow you to have more customizations, more tweaking than similar Fire TV devices. But you'll also notice that once you do have lots of applications open up on your streaming device, whether that's the on 4K Pro, the Nvidia Shield, the Google Streamer 4K, all of these devices suffer from the same thing whereby they do end up slowing down when you have too many things open up in the background. Now, the best and the easiest way to see what's running in the background is to use this free application called Background Apps and Process List. Let's open that up. Now we can see on my device, I have 16 applications open up in the background. Now I've been doing some testing, so it was actually a lot more when I first opened it, but you'll see on your device. In fact, do leave me a comment below and let me know when you open up this application for the first time, how many apps were open in the background. So we can see on my device, there's 16. Now the correct way and the only way to truly force stop these applications is to select the force stop option inside each of these application settings. So let's say for example, I want to close this one down. I can click on that. It takes me to this option here. I can now click on force stop. So this basically terminates the process and it ensures that it's no longer running on your device. But let's go back. So you can see now you can also click on uh, select multiple. Let's do that now. This will now allow you to select all these applications. Let's do these three, for example, go to the top and I can now click on close chosen app. So you can do that, but you can imagine that the more applications you have open in the background, manually selecting them, going over here, clicking on full stop, going back, next application, clicking on full stop. It can take some time and it can be a bit of a manual effort. And this is exactly why I developed the TDUK app killer which is now fully published once again in the Google Play Store, updated for Android TV 14, updated for the year 2026 with a new icon with new layout, and it will just run better on your device. Now, before you open that, make sure you have enabled USB debugging, which you can do by going to the settings, go to all settings, go down to where it says system, go to about, now scroll down and where you see the build number, if you just press the select button here seven times, you'll see you'll get the message eventually saying that you're now a developer. Once you see that message, you can now press back on the remote, scroll down, and you now have access to these developer options. Let's click on that. And you want to scroll down and make sure you've turned on USB debugging. Now, if you're following this process on the Nvidia Shield, on that device, you don't need to enable USB debugging. The option you're looking for is network debugging. So on that device, turn that option on, but for all other devices like the Chromecast, like the On 4K Pro, like the Xiaomi Mi Box, the option you're looking for is USB debugging. Once you've turned that on, I can now press back on the remote, back a few times, and we can now start the TDUK app killer updated for 2026. So let's do that now. We can now make a connection via ADB. Let's click on the first option. Now you will see this for the first time. I will click on always allow and click on allow again. Now, the correct way to exit this application is to go down and click on exit. This then properly for stops it. When you go back in, you can see then it then breaks the ADB connection. So that's the correct way to properly stop this application. Now, sometimes when you press the home key, you may go back in and find the application now no longer connects. The easy fix for that is just click on exit, go back in and you'll be able to connect once again. And we're now connected. Now we can see when I click on count background applications, it's saying there's 16 things running in the background. Let's go to exit one more time. Let's go back into the background apps and process list. And just to confirm that both applications do tie up, we can see both of them are correctly seeing 16 applications running in the background. And we can see one of those applications is the app killer itself, which we're going to see down here. The 16 applications, including my own app. Let's back out of that. Now, when I click on four stop, this will basically four stop 15 applications with one click. So no need to mess about going through individual applications, selecting applications, clicking on four stop, going to the next one with one click that will now automatically four stop all of those applications. Now, what you can also do is you can set up a whitelist. So any application you add into the whitelist means that it will never be four stopped. So people typically add in their custom launchers. You can add in a mouse toggle. You can add in your VPN, add them to the whitelist. And that way, when you click on four stop, that will never stop those applications. So let's test that out as well. So let's go back out of this. So let's activate my VPN. Let's click on that. My VPN is not connected. Let's go back. Now when I go back to background apps and process list, we should now have 17 applications running in the background. 
including the VPN, which you can see here. Let's back out of that. Let's go back into the app killer. Let's connect again. Let's go to the whitelist. This basically shows you all of the applications on your device, and you can then quickly add them into the whitelist. Now for this demonstration, we can see nothing is added into my whitelist, but I'm going to add just IP vanish. Let's click on that because that's now selected. Everything else we can leave as is. Okay, let's back out of that. All right, so one more check. So how many apps running in the background? We now have 17 applications and you can see guys in literally three, two, one, we've now killed 15 of those applications. So 15 out of 17, because the 16th app is the TD UK app killer. And the 17th app is going to be the whitelisted IP vanish VPN. So let's confirm that now. Let's go to the background apps and process list. And we can just like that, we only have two applications running in the background. So guys, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It properly force stops all of these applications running in the background bring up that memory, freeing up those valuable CPU cycles. And it really is the best way to get the smoothest experience from your streaming device. But I am planning some new applications for 2026, which will hopefully work on both platforms. But we can see guys, exactly all those applications were properly forced stopped. And we're now just left with these two. Let's go back. And that really is the whole application in a nutshell, guys. And I do recommend doing this maybe once a day, just to make sure your device is running as optimally as possible. Now to get this application on all of your devices, just open up the Play Store, go to the search. You can now just type in TD UK. And now you should see all of my applications which are available for the Google TV platform. So you have the App Killer, which I just demonstrated. You have the DNS switcher, which will now allow you to block adverts in all of your streaming applications, adverts in any website that you browse. It sets your device to use encrypted DNS, which then blocks adverts. And from that point forward, you won't see any adverts in all of your third party streaming applications. This is the cache cleaner. So one click clears all of your application caches, takes less than five seconds. And it's also another activity I do recommend just to keep your device running as optimally as possible. And you also have lastly, the screensaver manager. If you want to use custom screensavers on Google TV, you can manage all of that by using the TD UK screensaver manager. And with all these applications, they do cost $1.99, less than a cup of coffee. It's a lifetime license and it covers unlimited devices. So you buy it once, doesn't matter if you've got 300 TVs, four Google TV devices, with that one license, you can install it as many times as you want on as many devices as you want, as long as it's signed into the same Google TV account. So that's pretty much the video guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've heard of these applications, if you currently use them, um, and if you'd like me to develop something similar for the Amazon platform. So I really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.